Hi guys, Ash here and this is my review of the Hyper Galaxy ROM for the Galaxy S3 i9-300. This is based on Jelly Bean Android 4.1.1. So let's take a look at it. Performance wise it's pretty smooth and stable. The project butter seems to be active. Uh, there are, I don't have any issues with apps. Uh, most of them load fine, no force closes. Stability is pretty good. Uh, with some Jelly Bean ROMs, we've had issues with the dialer, uh, wherein hitting anything apart from zero used to, uh, I mean, cause a force uh, force close, but nothing of that sort. Everything works, and uh, uh, what do you say? The smart dial feature works as well. Uh, and uh, as far as boot time goes with this ROM, it's pretty fast as well. So let me quickly turn it off and show you the boot time. So I'm going to reboot the phone now. Oh, I hit the stop clock like a second later, so. But I have it about 14 seconds to boot, so pretty fast. So now on to the features. Guys, uh, this ROM is about 220 MB. Uh, which means it's bare bones, no bloatware included. These are all the apps that you get, 16 of them. Uh, just your basic camera contacts, downloads, email, gallery, music player and so on. You can add some extra stuff. Uh, the thread uh, in XDF forums is very active. You get a lot of add-ons from there. Uh, you can flash G apps to get Google Now, which is not included by default. You can get Google Now. The there is an extra add-on for swipe. Uh, as of right now, just to show you, all right, with the keyboard, you know, the predictive text doesn't work. You need to get the dictionary flashed again. All these are available from the original thread. A link to it is in the description, so you can get it from there. Uh, apart from that, there are no issues with keyboards. The contacts work fine. Um, uh, the Play Store works perfect. No issues. Paid apps, free apps, everything downloads. No issues at all. Uh, guys, uh, with uh, with earlier versions of this ROM, there were issues with bookmarks syncing. Right now, with the latest update, there is 1.0.5, which is what I am on currently. The bookmarks sync fine, there are no issues. The face unlock feature still remains absent, guys. Uh, as you can see, the option is not available. Uh, with, with a few uh, Jelly Bean ROMs, we've had issues with haptic feedback. These issues do not exist with Hyper Galaxy. Uh, the, the haptic feedback works fine while hitting the keys and uh, vibration works fine for incoming notifications and calls. As far as connectivity goes, the hotspot feature is, uh, is pretty broken, does not work uh, with or without, uh, without any keys. Even as an open connection, as you see, it is connecting, saved, and it just doesn't work. So I'm just going to open up internet. Does not work. So that's for the hotspot. Wi-Fi works fine, no issues. Uh, the 3G connectivity is perfect, no issues there again. Uh, one moment. And as far as Bluetooth goes, let me get my Bluetooth headset here. Okay, this is my Bluetooth. Uh, AVRCP works fine, there are no issues with that. Uh, loading up the music player. And let me just, just some files are recorded. And, uh, that's file number seven. Forwarding, forwarding, skipping tracks, going back, pausing it, playing it. One of the most important things for any ROM is the battery life. And as far as the battery life goes, it's pretty good. Uh, I've not really been pushing the phone, so this is minimal usage and I've been getting over two days. But this is very, very minimal usage, guys. A little bit of Wi-Fi, uh, answering a few calls, uh, a very little bit of browsing, uh, that's pretty much it. But in general, you should get well over a day's charge with this ROM, or at least somewhere around that for moderate usage. So, battery life is good. Now, as far as camera goes, uh, works fine, no issues. Uh, pretty fast, and the burst mode works fine. 
and uh, swapping the camera from front to back does not take a lot of time like it does on some ROMs. 1080p pictures should find no issues with that as well. The camera works perfect. So now moving on to benchmarks guys, let's quickly go ahead and run uh, a full benchmark on Quadrant Standard. Five thousand four seventy six. And guys, for some reason, uh, the Antutu benchmark wouldn't run on Hyper Galaxy, uh, uh, so I wouldn't be able to show you that test. Uh, that's pretty much it for the review of Hyper Galaxy, guys. Uh, this is a very good base from the startup with. There are a lot of add-ons, you know, on the original thread, and uh, it's very, very light. You know, two hundred twenty-five MB. It's uh, you know pretty fast as well so if you want a decent base from you know to start off with i definitely suggest going with hyper galaxy so that's pretty much it if you guys have anything to say leave it in the comment section or you guys can hit me up on facebook or twitter or you can email me directly all my contact details are in the description uh and uh before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you guys do want to do me a favor use my links to amazon from the description if you want to order anything online, not necessarily Galaxy S3 or uh, smartphone related stuff, just use uh, my links to get to Amazon and every time you place an order, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks. The pricing remains the same for you, it's just that Amazon would pay me if you go through my links, so that is if you guys do want to help me out. So that's pretty much it guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.